Hey guys, welcome to the hacked existence demo of Network Spoofer. Um, this is an application that runs on Android and does a few different network attacks. Uh, you can find their homepage sourceforge.net slash project slash netspoof. They are not in the Android store, so you'll have to go here, download the APK, put it onto your device, and install it. When you install it, um, you'll have to, once you launch the app, there's the icon. When you actually launch it, uh, you get this guy, and you'll have to hit this set up and install button, which will download a 100 meg image uh, that's actually a Debian ISO, um, and then it blows that up into a 500 meg image on your device, so you'll need quite a bit of free space to run it, but you'll see once you actually start it, there's a lot of cool uh, network tools in here that you can do some fun stuff. So, for example, we'll do, uh, let's do flip images. Okay, and so then we're going to do the default gateway, so we'll do this to all the hosts on the network. Um, and we'll hit start. So you can see it does ARP spoof. Alright, so now we're spoofed. So if I go on my host on the network now, and I go to imager, um, if I refresh it, then all those images were cached. You'll see all these images pop up upside down now. Everything, all these buttons. Um, kind of neat little tool. So we'll go ahead and stop that. Uh, and you have to wait for it. And let's try... Um, you can redirect all the traffic through the phone so that you can save it and open it up with uh, Wireshark. So you can do a bunch of networks uh, sniffing. You can do ad block, you can do multiple spoofs at the same time. Uh, let's do all sites. We're going to redirect to kittenwar.com. We'll do that on all devices. Start it up. So you got to wait for it. There we go. Now we've spoofed, spoofed the ARP cache again. So now if I go to like slash dot. You'll see it redirects to Kitten War. So the only problem with redirecting is that the CSS file on this website is declared relative. Um, so for whatever reason, the spoof doesn't work, it doesn't load the CSS. So if you want to redirect all your traffic to a site that you've built, uh, just make sure that you load all your external files with their fully qualified file name, um, and then it should work. So let's see what other kind of attacks this program has. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff in here. You can swap out, you can change custom Google searches. So you can, anytime somebody uses Google, you can change it to a search that you want. <clears throat> um, you can rickroll all of your traffic. So anytime somebody loads a video on, Google, or on YouTube, it'll replace it with a rickroll video pretty cool. Um, the troll face, so you can replace all the images that anyone loads with the troll face. So for example, now if I go to slash dot, you'll see big troll face here, one there, um, and they'll start showing up everywhere. All that fun stuff and it's cool because it lets you actually define your own image on the device that you can replace all the images that people see with so um, it's a fun little tool it's kind of inefficient on how much size it takes up but pretty fun to play around with nonetheless so that's a uh, network spoofer check it out thanks for watching